Royal snub, how Prince Charles has personality trait dub not ideal for monarchy apostrophe. Prince Charles has a personality trait that was dub not ideal for monarchy by the crown creator Peter Morgan. Mr. Morgan, who wrote the hit series, claimed the Prince of Wales is very opinionated and likes to express his opinions to anyone who will listen, and that that is not always a desirable trait. The monarch is expected to be politically neutral so Charles, as the heir to the throne, came under fire after his black spider memos were exposed, the name referencing Charles' distinctive handwriting. In the letters written to British government ministers and politicians over the years, Charles expressed his opinion on issues including farming, genetic modification, global warming, social deprivation, planning and architecture. Mr. Morgan said, Charles hasn't had the platform in which to push through with his thoughts and that's a tough thing to live with. It's hard to remain silent when you have opinions, and he has a lot of opinions about everything. His memos are legendary. He expresses his opinions to just about everybody and anyone that will listen. It's not necessarily ideal for the monarchy, but it does make him a more interesting person. He's a really good character to write, but they all are because human beings are interesting. Mr. Morgan also said that Charles is an independent thinker, which the establishment is not particularly fond of. Comparing him to previous monarchs, he claimed Charles is more imaginative than the dutiful George V, George VI and Elizabeth II. He added that he is more like the Duke of Windsor, formerly Edward VIII, who famously abdicated to marry the woman of his choice. The Crown Season 3, released recently, touches on Charles' relationship with Camilla Shand, later Camilla Parker Bowles and then Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. The match was not approved of by the royal family, and so he married Lady Diana Spencer instead. His turbulent relationship with Diana eventually ended in their marriage breakdown, divorce and after Diana's tragic death, he ended up marrying Camilla anyway. Mr. Morgan said, Charles is way less conventional than the other monarchs and I think it's a matter of frustration for him personally. His character belongs with the imaginative Windsor side, closer to Edward VII or Edward VIII. He's more flamboyant, more idealistic, willing to think for himself but the system doesn't particularly like that. They prefer the dutiful George VI or George VI or Elizabeth II. Less imagine but more get your head down and get on with your duty. Mr. Morgan also reflected on another big element of season 3, Charles' investiture as the Prince of Wales. The said the episode took a very long time to write, potentially the longest in the whole series. In the end, he settled on the idea that episode had to be about Charles' relationship with his mother, the Queen. He claimed there was a real difference between the way Charles wanted to present himself to the world and the way the Queen did. So he focused on that conflict in his script. He added, Charles and the Queen have a complex relationship, and here she is essentially anointing her successor. It's a hard thing, having to look at the person you are going to be replaced by. It would make anyone dig in and think they're not ready to hand over yet. It is the fate of every Prince of Wales to pray for the death of their parents, which can't make for a healthy family. <laughs>